Come on, Chelsea. Let's go. Let's go, you guys. 2 1 win today. The three points was vital. The three points was vital. This is the Premier League. This is a demanding league. And tonight, our opponents at Sheffield United, they prove that. They prove why every game is a contest. You have to battle. And boy, you guys, they tested us. They tested us today. They surprised us. I was not expecting Sheffield United to press high and try to do something in this game. But in hindsight, in hindsight, it makes sense. You know, Wilder's thinking, okay, they played against Spurs. A demanding game. This is the perfect opportunity against maybe a potentially tired team for us to really test them, to go man v man and to, you know, show them how good are you really? How good are you really man v man against us? And you guys, parts in this game, it was hard. For sure, it was hard, but in the end, it was the character. Character from all the players today, every single one, because we saw mistakes, of course we did, but players that made them, they also had important vital moments in the game that affected us and helped us get the win. So for me, this was an overwhelmingly positive win today. I think Tuchel would have learned a lot about the integrity and the spirit in the team right now. And it felt like one of those games where the emphasis on spirit, on unity and the players coming together was really important in us getting the win over Sheffield United today because you guys, this is the Premier League, you know? When you play a season, as I was saying before, you're not going to win every game playing beautiful football, one-touch plays, you know, scoring goals left, right and centre, regardless of how much money you spend or how big a name your players are, you get tested. Resolve is needed and to get that resolve, you get that only from team spirit. So again, you guys, in today's match review, I'm going to break down some of the players today that really stood out, some of the players that showed a lot of character today and just some other details and observations in the game as well. So I hope you guys do enjoy if you're happy with the win today. If you feel confident that now, this team does have it in them to get a top four finish and you guys smash that live button. But without wasting any more time, let's kick things off by discussing the lineup. Now, there were some surprises. Um, To be honest, I was not expecting to see George and Kova playing the same midfield together, considering they played three days ago. Because, you know, the, the reality is, you guys, this is our second away game in the space of three days two evening kickoffs and of course these players aren't aren't pixels on the screen these are real human beings and you know you feel the knocks from your previous games so you know tonight we saw you up front and to be honest i feel like maybe that was a bit of a mistake on tuchel's part but again this is coming from hindsight because i don't think any of us expected uh sheffield united to come out and try to play to win the game credit to wilder i, I really do like sheffield united i like their principles and how they play and i'm hoping they pull off the impossible and manage to stay up in the premier league this season but other than the surprise selection of Giroud, you know, this was a fairly typical lineup that I think a lot of us kind of predicted and guessed. And now to start things by discussing the game we saw from the opening minute, we saw Oliver Burke with an opportunity on goal and, you know, Sheffield United, they set the precedent, they set the intensity and they came up with a game plan to really test us. And we saw them target our midfield areas. We saw them pressing hard. We saw them trying to stop us from playing out from the back as well. And... You know, a few times we saw Jorginho, for example, showing a lack of conviction in his 50-50s. Uh, and this was something that we saw throughout the entire game, not just from him, but from the midfield too, with you know, Sheffield United on a few times, with their players being able to go on individual runs straight to the heart of us to create opportunities on goal, which is something that I feel you cannot allow. You know, big teams, they don't do that. And I feel like over time, of course, that's something we can improve upon and get better at. But for sure, the team were feeling nervous. Uh, we saw right at the start too that United had an opportunity to get a penalty. And I'm sure we were all collectively praying to the gods above you know, for VAR to come through and help us out. Because you felt like if United had got that goal first hand, let's say the penalty did stand. Let's say the uh, bashing wasn't offside then the context of the game could have been completely different. However, it felt like that was a bit of luck we needed at the start. You know, Ben giving away a pretty stoppy penalty after just, you know, reacting very nervously to that second ball situation. And you're thinking, okay, does this team have it in them to step up now? Because we weren't doing anything. We weren't doing anything. We weren't able to play out from the pressure at times too. And we looked very weak defensively. So, you know, when I say tonight, and I really stress this, the character we saw from the team today. Because even after that first 20, 25 minutes, regardless of the fact that players were losing their individual battles in the field, I was looking at the character. And these guys, they still maintain their intensity. They still try to fight. 
as best they could. Players weren't slacking, they weren't playing complacently, you know, they were still looking to put their all in and to be honest, that's all you can ask for. And it felt like once we rolled that pressure at the start, once we were able to find some passing moves and connections, you know, we were able to force Sheffield United back into their own half and we were able to target their right hand side. And now, in steps a certain Mr. Timo Werner. I feel like now's the time to discuss his performance today because as I've been saying in my past few player rating videos and in my match reviews, Werner, his efforts for the team, his work rate, it has been on point. I'm seeing this guy press from the front like crazy, uh, running for second balls, constantly probing and making runs in behind. And a lot of his great runs in behind, especially down that left hand side, were key for us to get back into the game and on a few occasions where you know we showed that 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 promise that that promise that we could create something on the left hand side it was no surprise in the end right before near the end of the first half that an opportunity comes on the left hand side some great play from cover to find him between the lines it was you know cover was constantly looking to find Werner between the lines constantly looking to play balls over the top to find them too and you know it was no surprise that in the end we were able to find the opportunity from these guys and Werner with Werner great cut back to Mason Mount and excellent finish for Mason but you know to continue on I feel like the goals are going to come for Werner but to continue on you guys I do feel like the goals are going to come for Werner and actually in this game today, a lot of his ability to, you know, have shots on goal came from poor final balls. I do feel like this team needs to get used to playing with Werner still. I feel like uh, it's not completely Werner's fault. I feel like he isn't getting those consistent opportunities made for him like how he wants. And I feel like a lot of times it's because players aren't passing the ball ahead of him for him to run onto. They're not playing those balls early enough. And I mean, Werner finds himself free in great opportunities. No one's playing the ball to him. So for me, this clearly tells me that there needs to be more time between Werner and the team. But, you know, the foundations have been built by Werner, which is work rate, determination, and of course, making those runs in behind for the team, which he did by winning the penalty for us to get the second goal scored by Jorginho. So, you know, great for him. Uh, he won the Man of the Match awards. In my opinion, I don't think I would have given that to Werner, even though he was very effective and very good tonight. It's only my opinion. I'm not here to impose that, but you guys know I'm, I'm here to speak about my opinions. For me, I would have given that to Mason Mount. I think Mason has really stepped up so much this season. He's starting to really show that techie side to his game and, you know, he must be a manager's dream. I mean, it really is no surprise. Uh, Tuchel has been in such praise of the player. And when you have a player in Mason that can fulfill so many roles tactically, that can play them to a very high level and standard too. I mean, he makes your life easier. Uh, the first goal he took, incredible goal. And it resonated even more because Mason publicly admitted himself, criticizing his own game, saying that my finishing, my shooting has been off. You know, I'm not shooting the ball enough. And when I do have shots on goal, I'm not being clinical. So the fact that he steps up in the game today, scoring that goal in the decisive moment against a very difficult opponent for me, it says quite a lot. And even in that second half, when Werner was able to win the penalty, to get us that second goal. That came from Mason Mount, pressing low at the top to then force that mistaken back pass to Timo Werner. And you know, it's, it's details like this, you guys, details like this, you know, not only does he have the technical ability, but he matches that with work rate and a desire to fight for the team. And that's what you can ask for. And for me, for those reasons, for those details, he just about edges it over Timo Werner. But some other players that I need to discuss too, I'm looking at cover. And I'm looking at Rudiger now, starting with Rudiger, even though he made a mistake for that own goal. I mean, we can't take that too serious in my opinion because his overall performance was very solid. He was making some very important blocks, uh, very strong aerially, very commanding as well. And, you know, I thought he had a good game. I can understand maybe that complacency in that moment. You know, uh, I can see what Rudiger was thinking. It wasn't the right thing to do in that moment though, but, you no, know, considering that it's not typical of him to do something like this, I'm not going to hold it too much against him and just reduce his entire game. So, you know, credit to Rudiger tonight. And of course, players like Kova and Jorginho, because for me, I feel like they showed a ton of character. Jorginho struggled today at times. You know, we saw him getting beaten 1v1, losing his 50-50 battles a few times. Sheffield United players are just running in between these guys for absolutely nothing. But... That did not affect his game. Jorginho still tried to play his game. And when he took that penalty, bringing back his uh, little skipping hop technique too, just to, just to add a little bit of gas to it, you guys. For me, that was a big moment. 
the confidence and that moment to, you know, believe in himself and what he's about. You know, I'm not going to discredit him for that. I thought that was a very good moment for the team. And it was these types of details that just really emphasised the character that every player showed in the game tonight. Uh, with Cover as well, he played a very key part in quite a lot of the game today. Uh, for me, I was getting like Luka Modric impressions from him. But... I'm stressing impressions because, you know, even though Cover was very effective in the build-up phase, the creative phase, you know, constantly finding Werner between the lines, you know, playing balls over the top, which are a range of different passing styles and techniques, you know, uh, chip balls over the top, um, you know, quickly spraying passes to the wing-backs too, playing through balls and behind. I did feel like, at times, the end products, the, the consistent quality from the amount of forward passes he was playing was not always there all the time, but, but I do have to say that there is context for this, the fact that he's playing two away games in three days, and the fact he received a pretty nasty tackle from Bogle too, I mean, of course, that's going to take a little bit from your game. So, in general, overall, I thought Corbett was good. I thought his ambitious range of passing today was definitely encouraging because for me, if Cover's going to go to that next level, he needs to show that consistent class with his output from these areas. So, honestly, you guys, you know, I'm going to end this match with you now. Um, I'm going to release the player ratings video tomorrow morning, you guys. So, you know, bear with me for that one. But honestly, I was very, very happy with the character, the determination to fight to get the three points today. You know, players did their part. Everyone had a shining moment, even when the game was difficult for them. And that's what you can really ask for, you guys. On that note, I'm going to wrap things up, keep things moving. I'm in the FC. This is Blue Lions TV. Come on, Chelsea. I'll see you guys later with another video.